started learning Kathak when I was about 10 years old. Kathak comes from north part of India and Kathak is storytelling through dancing. So the, the dancers would go from village to village telling the stories about everyday life or maybe it could be um, from the stories from this Ramayan or Mahabharat or Krishna, you know, different gods, stories of and this is how they would connect with people and that was the part of entertainment. Then my parents moved to another place where no Kathak was available. So when I moved to Mumbai, I started taking classes over there, then got married, came to this country, then children, life, you know, the whole life when I was like about 34 years old. My husband had this opportunity, he was on a sabbatical, he went to India and I had told myself that I was going to learn something. My mother kept saying, you are living in the richest country in the world and you are not doing anything. Kathak dancing was your passion, so go learn Kathak. It was my hobby, I never thought about teaching. My teacher asked me, would you like to teach? I said, I never taught before, I have no idea and I don't like little girls. <laughs> so used to boys. I liked the idea of teaching and then my teacher says, you go to America, why don't you teach? So when I came back to Louisville, I started teaching and some of my friends sent their children and I did that for almost 10 years. And then in 2003, Riyadh, he approached me and he says, will you teach me dancing? Because I, this is my passion and I wasn't quite sure whether I was into it or not. She just flat out and told me no. And I said, maybe. <laughs> but it is, it is like one of my biggest passion that I always wanted to learn classical pure classical form and perform on the stage. Mm -hmm. So off and on I've been learning about 10 to 12 years. It's a great feeling, you know. Like one time in my life I thought I'd be never able to follow my passion performing pure classical on the stage. But now it seems like a dream came true. Thank you, Minazi. Mm -hmm. These girls grew on me, fell in love with them. More girls joined and started liking it. I'm Meg, I'm 16. I'm Noren, I'm 14. I'm Arshin, I'm 14. I'm Ria, I'm 13. I'm Isha, and I'm 12. So it's kind of grown as like a tradition to come every Sunday for a certain amount of time and just dance and stuff. And we always have recitals, so it's basically just like anxious preparation for that. It's, it's really yeah. fun to spend our weekends over here too. Yeah. Even though it's just We like have an enjoyable fun. time with yeah. Yeah. Sure yes. and our peers too. Yeah. Great. It's fun. It's like a passion. It's our family so we always love coming. I think pretty much all of us are really passionate about dancing and performing in general. So. Uh, well you get tempted by other opportunities I guess but that really there's no other option but coming here because I just have been committed to this school for such a long time. You, It's all that opportunity cost and what you give up, but yeah, it's Sometimes worth it. it gets kind of difficult with like schoolwork and stuff, but I mean, if it's something that you're really passionate for, then you always find a way around it. <laughs> it's just yeah. something that you'll always have with you. Like just being on a stage and learning how to perform, that's a skill that you will, that will definitely be useful later on. Because at this age I cannot go to perform anymore. It's when I see them dance on the stage, it's like me dancing there, my spirit. I grew up in North Carolina, and when I was growing up there, there wasn't a lot of diversity. So I didn't even, I wasn't even aware that Guthuk was an art form until I was in my early 20s. So learning Guthuk, I've just started recently within the past year. It's a way for me to connect to my culture, to learn more about myself. So that's why I got involved with it. Um, Guthuk for me is an escape. It's where all of my stress, I can I can let it out. And um, it's like, it's always been a part of me. And so it's something definitely that I couldn't, I have to write about because it's who I am. And um, just like in my future, it'll always be a part, with, a part of me. My thing is like, you know, if you have a passion for anything, it's never too late. You can start at any age. I mean, I feel like, you know, look at me. <laughs>